Hi, sorry it's taking me so long to get back to you. I usually pride myself on getting back to my messages on TikTok and comments pretty quickly, but I have been really hustling on getting my new course platform, Vesper, up and running, and so um, I have been a little slow. Speaking of being slow, uh, if you are a freelancer and if you're on the platform Upwork, you probably have experienced a little bit of a slowdown. And that is not a bad thing. It is, first of all, it's summer. So in the, in the seasons of freelancing, everybody's kids are out of school. They're focusing on summer vacations. They're traveling. People are out of the office. So if you are a freelancer, this is really normal. And I know that a lot of people, it's kind of trendy now to predict a recession coming. But honestly, recessions for freelancers are a little bit different. So while you might notice that startups are rescinding offers for tech companies and things like that, the the reality is they still need work done. And the thing that they cut on is usually full-time employees, but they still have work to do, which means this is where they hire freelancers when their marketing department is overwhelmed and they don't have enough people. For example, I had six meetings today and a lot of them actually came not from Upwork. They came from cold reach outs to companies that I thought were cool and wanted to do some writing for. So cold reach outs are actually a great way. If you see a company, you're like, man, it'd be so cool to write for them or do work for them. Just reach out to them because more often they not, or than not, they actually do need your help. But the core to actually getting those companies to work with you and want to work with you is writing a fantastic proposal. <laughs> and that is something that I have spent years of my life doing. Uh, as a copywriter, I really excel at writing that really persuasive letter that gets people being like, yeah. And if you can convince them to get on a call with you and they're like, why should we hire you? If you're a copywriter like I am, you can be like, well, you chose to get on a call with me because of my writing and because of, you know, my sales letter. And so I can do for you what you, what I, what my writing did for our conversation right now, I can make shit happen. Uh, and that's a great way to do a sales pitch. Uh, but in all seriousness, I do have a copy of the exact cover letter that I use for Upwork and for cold reach outs. It's in my shop. And I also created a separate cover letter that is like a template for you to input your experience and kind of what you bring to the table. And I focused it more on Upwork, but you can also edit it for people who are, are beyond Upwork and off of the platform because the same kind of formula is, is, it exists for both. But basically, for your cover letter, you really want it to be persuasive. You want to use language that is clear and concise that really speaks to your unique experience, why you're perfect for their job. And you want to customize it just enough, but not too much. Because if you are sitting there customizing every single proposal on Upwork, every single cold email, like to the nth degree, you are not going to be able to move very efficiently. And it's really important that you're still, you're still going. <laughs> like don't spend a gajillion years personalizing every Upwork proposal. Trust me. But yeah, let me know if you need any more help.